what strikes your fancy. Do um, when you're inspired. Do like make a move on that. Don't just ignore it. Um, I have been painting on my wall over quarantine, um, and I um, I didn't really ask my mom. She came upstairs. She's like, "Oh, you're painting on the wall." I was like, "Yes, I am." And um, so um, we, I really liked it, and I had just heard of this um, competition called Art Flowers. So. Um, I can only send in one photo of my art. I can only do one entry. So I chose to send in my mural. They have professional artists, and that's the majority of what they do, but there was one student, or one senior each year that they graciously would encourage. And so he said, what, what's the least I can do? Like, they'll say no, or I won't hear back. And I didn't really think anything of it. I kind of forgot about it to be, but um, I um, got, phone call on Thanksgiving and I was like hello and um, I got a phone call from Wendy Hickey, Art Pop Amazing. She was like hey this is Wendy Hickey from Art Pop and I was like oh and I kind of really knew what was going on. I was like what what is it about? And she's like you won and I was like whoo <laughs> Yeah come to find out it was gonna get turned into a billboard and it was really exciting and surprising. It's already pretty large like in a room five by eight but then to see it up on a, you know, on a billboard, oversized, is just crazy, pretty breathtaking at times. I feel like I'm kind of like a little baby artist, like everybody's like, yeah, I really like know what I'm doing, I'm painting, I have an Etsy, and I'm like, I have an Instagram you can follow, I think. I feel very much like in awe of everybody that they're, they're helping me um, understand what being an artist looks like, um, and um, how you can actually thrive off it, um, and canceling the, um, stereotype of like starving artists. And to the parents of budding artists, let them be creative and let them paint on their walls.